All right. Are you ready to see the color of the primer? Ta da! <laughs> uh, I don't know if the camera's seeing it and if the light is justifying the color, but uh, there's the color of <laughs> what I'm using as a primer. So, now believe it or not, this was being used. If I turn the light off, it may give a better. All right. Um, this, believe it or not, is a color of a vertical and a horizontal stripe uh, about six inches wide uh, in one of the bedrooms. And it's actually faded. So as it starts, it fades off to nothing. And then when it starts again here, it fades off to nothing. So it, it doesn't look like it does here. You know, I mean, uh, we picked it because of the color, but uh, we've used so little uh, as an accent, basically. It, uh, it actually looks pretty decent. So anyway, uh, I had nothing else to do with it because I really don't think I want to paint a room that color. So uh, I'm just using it up. Uh, like I say, I mixed a little water with it, and I'm just going to use it up as a uh, primer. You know, when that dries, I'll move some of this stuff out of the way, and I'll do this portion of it. And uh, like I say, just use it as a primer to get things going, uh, or as a base coat. Um, and then, uh, then I'll end up painting it something. I don't know what I'm actually going to paint it, because I still, I still want to get the piece of uh, 12 gauge. Um, by maybe 12 gauge uh, steel uh, steel plating and have them cut it for me uh, because I can get a cleaner edge if they cut it than if I do with a jigsaw um, but maybe uh, 8 inches 10 inches wide all the way down so if I'm drilling you know I don't have to worry about getting a block of wood up here or uh, drilling through the bench so by having that piece of steel across there as a runner, uh, I think that'll be a good idea. Knowing the way that I am, you know, normally uh, I just start drilling, or I'll pick up a piece of uh, wood and I'll pick it up there if I remember. But sometimes I just start, and oh shit, you know, next thing you know, I've got a bunch of holes across the top of the uh, counter. So anyway, that's where we're at so far. So far. All right. Change the color. Now we got the real color. That's probably the color I'm going to leave it. It's it's a nice kind of a bluish color, bluish grayish, somewhat. Now it'll dry a little bit darker. Uh, so we'll let that dry. We'll see what happens. Uh, had that little shelf thing there, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to put it there. I can put things under it. I can put things on it. I don't have to worry about it. So I'll just put that there for now. Uh, other than that, that's right about where we're at. So tomorrow, when that's dry, I will move some of this stuff over there and organize some of it at the same time. So every time I move it, the pile is getting smaller. Yes, it is. So, so that's where we're at. And right now, believe it or not, I'm here in a t-shirt and it is 73. 73 degrees in here. I can say 74, but I'll play it at 73. Uh, and that little thing right there is what's doing it. The furnace hasn't kicked on, which is way up there. The thermostat, not the thermostat, but the, uh, the thermometer is back here. Um, so, so far it's working. How is it outside? It's not real cold but it isn't warm. Uh, it's raining, so it's damp. Uh, so that's kind of like what we have. If I was to take that and stick it out there, I probably would see mid to high 40s. Uh, that's where I'm thinking. So, but other than that, that's where we're at. Other than that, that's where we're at. Whoa, poet. So, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I tried this booster fan 
in the back porch on the heat duct that runs out um, and I put it on the timer instead of the thermal switch that's supposed to turn it on and off but it doesn't uh, thing is this fan makes a lot of noise so as much as it did the job when the timer was on and off the timer act can only go down as low as 15 minutes at a time so every 15 minutes it would go on and then 15 minutes it would go off and then 15 minutes it would go on and then well the heat's not going on in rhythm with the timer because the heat's not going on and off every time the timer's on so the fan starts to blow a little bit of a cooler air which is better than cold air um, but you're hearing the fan run so uh, it's not going to work so I got to figure out why the thermo switch which is this thing right here is not working now if you look at it the picture I mean it's hooked up all four are bolted to a flat surface of the duct you know the heat uh, the hot air duct um, this little control knob here you can set it for cool or hot depending so that's set the switch that's a three degree or seven degree variance so you know if you want it to kick out within seven uh, three degrees then you wear three or seven the upper switch is for uh, temp in or out so it's either hot air or cold air and then you have your plug where the fan plugs into and then you have this plug that plugs into an AC outlet uh, and it's just not doing it I mean it's can't get any simpler but it's still not doing what it's supposed to be doing so I'm uh, gonna try one more thing and then I'm going to call it a day and take it out completely and uh, not use it but we will see what goes on so I'm going to bring the fan in there one more time um, again I don't mind hearing the fan a little bit uh, when it does kick on as long as the heat's on you know so it doesn't bother me because you're not going to notice it that much so but uh, let me go do what I got to do with that and then shortly I've got an appointment today with a doctor which I wasn't aware of until it was too late uh, I was just listening to the answering machine, and I'm hearing yesterday's calls. So uh, they told me that I had an appointment today, and hello. I had to call them, seeing that it was the time of the appointment, and I wasn't going to make it. So we made it for 3 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock. So uh, in a few minutes, by the time I get done with that duck and taking a shower, and washing my feet. Uh, see, I'm going to the foot doctor, and I'll take it from there. Yeah, I had an ingrown toenail, um, and I know right where it came from. I was wearing sneakers when I was doing this whole thing. I was on my knees all the time, all right, so my toes were, uh, you know, where I pushed backwards so that you know um, it just pushed in, pushed in, pushed in, and. I mean, you're talking, what, two, three months of me, you know, pushing that toe. So the, uh, and they'll kind of just start growing in. So they just uh, shot it with Novocaine, cut a quarter of it off, pulled it out, and uh, put some other stuff in there to kind of freeze it up and stop it from growing in again. Uh, and that's where we're at. So since then, I bought a pair of, where the hell are they? pair of slip-on winter boots so I can just throw my foot in it uh, again these are just going to be for around here all right as you can tell I already have where are me already got paint on them bought them Monday went to uh, uh, Bass Pro I think it was they opened up a humongous store in Bridgeport uh, so that's about a half hour ride for us so we had to go see this massive store so I went in there and uh, naturally they're selling you on credit cards so yeah I says uh, all right for one reason only I wanted to see if my protection plan 
uh, is working because when I apply I should get a call or they should see something on their screen saying that my my credit is protected and for me or them to call them you know right there on the spot so I can identify myself as so well guess what it didn't show up never got anything on it so the protection plan that I have it's a 30-day free trial that I have for a 30-day free trial is not working because they issued me a credit card without notifying me so if I was somebody else using my ID you follow uh, my credit I would have had a credit card out there that I didn't know about because of this uh, protection plan that I have failed so all right let me do what I gotta do guys all right I'm back from the doctors yeah got that all taken care of I uh, got that painted as you can see I'm probably gonna leave it that color uh, however this is a primer sealer no this is a primer paint sealer it's like one of those all-in-one by bear um, not you buddy bear but uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna let it finish drying tonight tomorrow when I come out here I'll take a peek at it uh, see again I don't know exactly how I'm going to finish this off if I'm I gotta put some metal stripping on it that's almost a guarantee uh, I don't know how this you know this uh, OSB is gonna hold up kind of like by itself is a countertop or a workbench even if I put a, a, a an epoxy or clear coat over this I I really don't know how it's gonna hold up so I was thinking about possibly putting some ply a quarter inch or something like that over it I really don't know at this point um, yeah it's just something I gotta uh, I gotta think about and uh, Oops, excuse me guys you know and, and figure out what I'm gonna do because if I'm gonna put something else over it well this wasn't a waste because it's protected uh, however I won't put any uh, epoxy or clear coat on it if I'm going to use it as it is I'll just put a piece you know or not piece I'll put a coat of epoxy over it, you know a clear coat a polyurethane um, and then just see what happens but again I don't know how that's going to be as a bench by itself um, you know without having another another piece of uh, wood of some sort over it so uh, I even have some uh, uh, what the hell is it uh, it's not a cement board but uh, oh, I got it around here someplace <clears throat> but anyway that's where I'm at Oh, and I think I got this working. So I will know because I turned the heat up just to see. About five minutes or so into it, I heard the blower go on. And I took a shower because I had to go to the foot doctor. And when I got out of the shower, the heat kicked off. So did the blower fan. So I may have it, finally. Finally. So, all right. I am done, guys. Kind of all set. Uh, didn't have a chance to do much organizing today, but I did get this done, so that'll let me get started anyway. So, so let me uh, get my button gear, and uh, oh, I got these at Walmart. I was up at Walmart to get the bird seed today, <coughs> so I picked these up. Uh, they were like a uh, dollar fifty for two. So for that kind of money, it's just a nice little bin to put things in. And I can see what's in them, so I'll probably put them up in the shelf up there. So we'll see what happens. All right, catch you, Ace. Catch you later.